What a beautiful uh, location we have. Uh, really excited as when we first started uh, the Treasure Tree program this year, I just had this vision of doing it under a treasure tree and what a magnificent location that we have. Um, so I'm really excited, really excited about the Treasure Tree program and being able to um, award some folks that we have here. But before I get going, I did want to introduce um, our host, um, which is Columbia College and uh, President Dr. Carol Moore, as she will welcome us uh, today into this location. So. It certainly is appropriate that the tree today has kept us dry. So uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is um, a pleasure to have you on our campus uh, and we are very proud and comforted by this tree um, most days that we're on campus. So uh, I'm glad that you could be here today uh, for this ceremony and also to enjoy the absolute amazing wonder of this beautiful tree. So with that. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so with that, I want to talk um, of a little bit about some of the other um, organizations that we have in the community that uh, really help to embody um, and take care of our tree canopy and the urban forest. And with that, we have a couple different um, organizations. Um, Columbia Garden Club is a huge um, supporter of what the Forestry and Beautification Division um, does. Um, there's also the Tree and Appearance Commission. Um, and I want to just be able to let these folks speak a little bit about what they do and kind of the initiatives that they um, oversee and just where you can find more information about them and just so you know a little bit about some of these other organizations. So with that I have Carolyn Dugan from the Tree and Appearance Commission. Um, if she'd like to come up and just say just a few words that'd be great. Hi everyone, um, I'm from the City's Tree and Appearance Commission. We are 13 volunteer members from the city. Uh, we meet once a month and we are mainly a peanut gallery I would like to say for the city council and any new policies um, regarding trees in the urban forest we give our recommendations um, we help um, helped give the planners our advice on the upcoming master plan anything about trees and beautification um, we do have um, we're trying to build up our social media so you all can come to events that we're having so um, you can check out the city's website for that. Um, I do have two um, two projects that we're working on that I think you all might be interested in. Um, in January and February, we have a plant the park, and that's where every year we go around and try to um, increase the smaller understory trees throughout the city's parks. Um, and the second one that we have. Um, been working on for several years is we're trying to um, paint and give the train bridge over Gervais Street a beautiful facelift that's such an important entrance into the city um, I don't know if you all have seen the other one on five points that looks so nice now um, so we're still raising funds and trying to make that a beautiful part of Columbia as well so thank you also another group that I'm very fond of uh, is the Columbia Green and they do a lot to sponsor uh, a lot of our annuals and some of our uh, beds and we also they really encourage the, the planting of trees and we just completed a 10,000 tree planting uh, ceremony and so they're a big advocate of tree planting in the community and so I wanted Susie Thorpe president of Columbia Green to say a few words about their organization. Well thanks Caleb for inviting Columbia Green to participate in this really special day. Um, it's also nice to see a number of Columbia, board, Columbia Green board members here, and a lot of those members are also members of the SeaTac board, so it's a good synergy that way. So Columbia Green has a really long history of supporting tree initiatives, and as Caleb said, last month in partnership with Forestry and Beautification, we wrapped up a several year project to uh, plant 10,000 trees citywide. And what was even better is the mayor came and helped us plant that 10th ceremonial 10,000th tree uh, at Riverfront Park. And we hope early next year to be announcing another exciting tree initiative. But meanwhile, for those of you who don't know Columbia Green, 
We are a nonprofit founded in 1984 and dedicated to beautification of the greater Columbia area as a way to enhance the quality of life for all of us who live and work in the city. You see what we do every day when you drive into the city through the city gateways like uh, sun the Sunset Drive area coming off Elmwood and in medians throughout the city. We work with forestry and beautification to uh, help with the plantings for those areas. Um, we also give grants to uh, support a variety of landscaping projects in neighborhoods for nonprofit institutions and other public institutions. So we do all these things we do by raising money. And the way we raise money is through memberships and our annual Festival of Gardens, which this year will be held May 1st and 2nd in 2020, this coming year. So you can learn more about what we do uh, on our website at columbiagreen.org. Hope you'll read it, decide to join us, and I want to say it's a pleasure to be under this fabulous tree. And with that too, I would, uh, I cannot go on without uh, thanking my staff. Um, so my staff is over here. Uh, I have at the end Ann Heiler, who is our reforestation program coordinator, and um, does 500 trees that she plants in the right of way every year. Um, next to her I have uh, assistant Glenn Brown, um, who is a certified arborist and is a certified arborist as well. Um, if you guys are calling the main forestry line, you are going to be talking to lovely Miss Wendy Bell, and that's who you will uh, hear, and she uh, disperses the information and gets us the, the things we need to be able to take care of our trees. And then also we have her here, Amy Wright, a landscape designer who is also um, a certified arborist who does all of our um, landscaping um, as well as um, some tree stuff whenever we need her to do that. So I appreciate those guys, and they really uh, they care about our urban forest, and they really uh, take care of things, and I really appreciate their time. So. Um, you know, round of applause for them as well. <clears throat> so with that, uh, the Treasure Tree program started back in 2006. Um, some of you may know Susie Hayward as uh, she was with the uh, Columbia Garden Club and still is. And she um, wasn't able to be with us today, but she wanted to um, pass along her thanks for uh, carrying on the program. And it's been along for quite some time. Um, and it's just really cool to be able to celebrate uh, trees such as this. And with that, just think back to maybe the first time you came across a tree that really stopped you in your tracks. Um, whether it be the size of it, the species of tree, maybe there's some features about it that really um, it just made you think. Um, a tree like this, you think, man, imagine the storms, the hurricanes, the wind, um, the flooding, the weather that this kind of a, a tree like this has seen. And um, a lot of these trees have a story to tell, and so we want to celebrate that. And, as you can see in our program, we have a lot of individuals who have um, some trees that are very special to them that um, we want to celebrate. Um, and that could be for their size, um, also for just the nostalgia or the um, childhood memories that go along with some of these trees as they uh, mark us. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.